What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and cover the best gaming headsets I feel like you can go ahead and pick up for your next-gen console and going into 2021. There aren't too many videos on YouTube that cover the best gaming headsets, at least the top five, that compare the microphone qualities between each of them and also go over the pros and the cons. So I figured I'd go ahead and make this video for you guys so you can go ahead and make the right decision when you're picking up your gaming headset for your next-gen console and going into next year. We'll go over the things that I love about them, and if there's something that I dislike, we'll cover that as well. But they won't be in any particular order because I use all of these headsets depending on where I am or what I'm feeling for that day. I know, I know, first world problems. Now, the only headset that isn't in today's video that I feel like should be here is the new one by Odyssey. It's their Penrose gaming headset, and it's not here because FedEx lost my package. It's damaged in transit somewhere. I don't know where it's at. But as soon as I get it, I promise I'll do an in-depth review on it. We'll go over the microphone quality and we'll compare it to some of the microphones that you'll see on the gaming headsets in today's video. Also, by the way, thank you so much for the positive feedback that you guys have been giving me on my PlayStation 5 review. You guys absolutely loved it. If you did miss it, I will make sure to leave it linked down below for you guys. So you can go ahead and check it out once this video is over. Getting into the first headset, we have the Corsair Virtuoso. This has been one of my primary go-tos for gaming and pretty much everything else. This model by far has the best microphone you'll ever find on a gaming headset, and this alone is one that you can use for everything. You can use it for streaming and recording, listening to music, I mean it does it all, and the quality is definitely top tier. You can pick it up for 150 bucks right now on Amazon, and if you're somewhat on a budget and don't have money to buy a separate USB microphone, but need both a headset and a mic, it's going to be very difficult to find a headset that can compete with the Virtuoso and its features. The microphone is detachable and you have multiple different options for connecting this, whether it's through a 3.5mm wired connection, a USB wired connection, or the Slipstream wireless USB connection that gives you a range of up to 60 feet. Battery life is 20 hours on a full charge and you can also customize the RGB lighting in Corsair software. Now the only downside that I can think about with the Corsair Virtuoso is that it is comfortable when you first put it on, but after about an hour and a half of gaming, you'll notice that the ear cups start to get discomforting. And that's because the ear cups are rather shallow and your ear is touching the speaker. So if you are gonna go ahead and pick up the Virtuoso, make sure you go ahead and pick up a pair of swappable ear cups. You can change them out on this headset. And that's pretty much it. That's the only thing I can think of about the Virtuoso that's negative. And that's the only thing I've experienced that I didn't like in the past six months of using that headset pretty much every day. Next up, we have the new HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. This model comes in at $150 and is the new wireless version of the Cloud 2s. The microphone is detachable and the quality it pumps out through the microphone sounds decent for this price range. Where it lacks in features and customization, it makes up for with sound quality, which HyperX has always been known for. You can connect it through the USB wireless transmitter or the 3.5 millimeter port if you're on the go. Surround sound is great. The headset is super comfortable and lightweight. And like I said, it comes in at $150. You have built-in mic monitoring, over 30 hours of battery life on a full charge, and its range is up to 65 feet, which I've been using this as my primary headset for the past two weeks since my review. And it's super simple design and great sound quality is turning this into one of my favorite gaming headsets. Now, the only downside I can think about with the HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless is that it only comes in one color for now. The ear cups, they don't swivel. You can't customize any sound profiles or play with the mic, and it doesn't have any RGB lighting. But I'll gladly overlook all of those features to have the sound quality and comfort that this headset provides. Like I said, I've been using it for the past couple of weeks pretty much every day, and it's turned out to be a fantastic option for me down here in the studio and up in the game room. For our third pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, we have the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro. Razer outdid themselves this year with a new lineup of Black Shark models providing a new design with decent comfort and fantastic microphone quality. This model is their Pro wireless version that comes in at $180. It has a detachable microphone with a nice lightweight design to complement its breathable memory foam ear cups. For battery life, you have up to 24 hours on a full charge and provides connectivity through its 3.5mm port or its 2.4GHz transmitter. It comes in a sleek all-black design with a hyper-clear super cardioid microphone. No RGB with this model, but it does have THX spatial audio for games like Apex Legends, Valorant, and Rainbow Six Siege. You can customize these settings and profiles along with the microphone in the Razer Synapse software. Now, the only downside that I can find with the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro is its price point. I mean, it's $30 more than the Virtuoso and Cloud 2 Wireless, and you really don't get that much more for that price premium. So there really isn't anything that really sets them apart. You have surround sound on both of these, and then you have the THX spatial audio on that headset, which not everyone uses. So it's up to you. I mean, if you have to have Razer in your headset because everything else is Razer for that aesthetic look, then I understand. But if you can, why not save 30 bucks on your headset? Now this wouldn't be a top five gaming headset review without a pair of Astros. So for our fourth choice, we have the Astro A50 Gen 4s. The most expensive version on our list, this is Astro's flagship headset that comes in at 300 bucks and is a staple in the gaming community. 
You get noise canceling, three-dimensional audio, comfort, design. This headset checks pretty much every box for gamers with support for all systems. You have Dolby surround sound with multiple connectivity options through its futuristic base station that powers this wireless gaming beast. Now the battery life is only 15 hours and the microphone isn't the best and people still to this day say the headset isn't loud enough. And I can agree with everyone to a certain extent. But in this price range, you still have your SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless and you have your Odyssey Mobius gaming headset. But it's honestly pick your poison at this price point. I mean, why spend 300 on the SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless when you could spend 200 on the SteelSeries Arctis 9 or 9X and get pretty much all the same functions? Same thing with the Odyssey Mobius. Why would you spend $300 on a headset that has a short battery life and very short connection options with no surround sound while using Bluetooth? I mean, it's a mess, which is why I tend to stay away from these higher price point headsets for you guys. Hopefully the Odyssey Penrose will change all of that for me when I get my hands on it. Leading into the fifth player on our list, we have the SteelSeries Arctis 7P and 7X. They match the $150 price point of the Virtuoso and Cloud 2 Wireless with better comfort and an overall decent, simplistic design with a ton of functionality. Now let's go ahead and cover some annoyances with these two headsets because there seems to be a lot of confusion and a lot of questions out there that haven't been answered for you guys because a lot of you keep asking me the same questions, which is fine, I don't mind whatsoever, but let me just clear up some confusion for you guys. If you pick up the 7P, which is the PlayStation version, you can use that headset on anything and everything except an Xbox. But if you buy the 7X version, you can use it on everything and anything. They're both the same price, so if it were up to me, I'd rather have you guys go ahead and pick up the 7X instead of the 7P. Now with the 7P PlayStation version, you get 3D audio, which is PlayStation's version of the surround sound on the PS5, which at the same time doesn't give you surround sound on PC. With the 7X Xbox version, you get the same spatial surround sound audio you get from the original Arctis 7 headset. Now if you're trying to use the Game Chat audio dial from the 7X on a PS5, from what I understand, it won't work. The PS5 itself has a voice chat balance. You can go ahead and adjust in the quick menu by tapping the PlayStation button and bringing it up and adjusting it separately. I wanted to clear up all that confusion for you because there's a lot of questions out there with no solid answers. And I keep seeing the same questions over and over again. So I know you guys are having trouble finding these answers and you're getting frustrated. So hopefully I just cleared all of that up for you guys with that quick recap on the 7P and the 7X. Now, if you have to absolutely have Bluetooth so you can game and listen to music or answer phone calls at the same time, then yes, go ahead and pick up the SteelSeries Arctis 9 or 9X version of these headsets. The only difference really is you get Bluetooth for an extra 50 bucks, so I'll leave that up to you guys. Next up, let's go ahead and compare the microphone quality on each one of these headsets, so let's go ahead and take them all up into the game room. This is what the microphone quality sounds like on the HyperX Cloud 2 wireless gaming headset. This is what the microphone quality sounds like on the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro. This is what the microphone quality sounds like on the Corsair Virtuoso gaming headset. This is what the microphone quality sounds like on the Astro A50 Gen 4s. This is what the microphone quality sounds like on the SteelSeries Arctis 7P wireless gaming headset. Once again, this is what the microphone quality sounds like on the HyperX Cloud 2 wireless gaming headset. Once again, this is what the microphone quality sounds like on the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro. Once again, this is what the microphone quality sounds like on the Corsair Virtuoso gaming headset. Once again, this is what the microphone quality sounds like on the Astro A50 Gen 4s. Once again, this is what the microphone quality sounds like on the SteelSeries Arctis 7P wireless gaming headset. Now I'm curious, which one of these headsets do you think had the best microphone? Let me know down below in the comment section. Now I do have three headsets I want to give an honorable mention to that almost made the list. The first one is the Razer Nari Ultimate. What held this headset back for me was the $200 price tag and how bulky this headset is. Second, we have the Turtle Beach Stealth 700 Gen 2s, which we just reviewed. Awesome headset, but for me, they were way too tight of a fit, and it gave me a headache after about an hour of gaming. And last, on our honorable mention, we have the Logitech G Pro X Wireless. The wired version was a fantastic option for gamers, but for me, there is no way the wireless version of this headset is worth $200, especially with it only being able to connect through a USB connection and not offer a 3.5mm option. So now you guys are probably thinking to yourself, well, you gave me five headsets to pick from. I still don't have any idea. So let me go ahead and try to make this easy for you guys. I'm going to give you my top three in order that I would choose if I had to go ahead and pick up a new headset today. In first place, I would choose the Arctis 7X or 9X, depending on if you need Bluetooth or not. In second place, I would go with the Corsair Virtuoso with the ear cups being swapped out. And in third place, I would go for the HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. These provide the best value for the price and are my top picks for you guys going into 2021 and your next-gen consoles. 
Amazon links will be down below for you guys if you do want to go ahead and pick up any one of these headsets and support the channel at the same time with no extra cost to you. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.